1948 Superman. Chapter 10. Between Two Fires. Having discovered the deception of the Spider Lady's men, Lois Lane was tied up and left in a room with a machine about to explode. Superman arrived in the nick of time to shield Lois from a minor explosion. He was able to save the reducer ray from total destruction. Lois passed out from her ordeal. She was carried to her car by Superman. Returning to the Daily Planet, the reporters are still struggling to find the whereabouts of the Spider Lady's lair. By chance Olsen saw a couple of the Spider Lady's men in a gas station. He decided to tail them and try to find out what they are up to. Unbeknownst to Jimmy the men were onto him and ambushed him when Olsen decided to follow them inside a building. The building is where the henchman hid Dr. Graham, the inventor of the reducer ray. They are forcing him to create another machine for their dastardly deeds. The evil Dr. Hackett reported back to the Spider Lady, informing her about progress on their plans. Back to Dr. Graham, we now see Olsen up and about and talking to the doctor about the machine he's making. Dr. Graham was asked to make the reducer ray but came up with a machine that sends out messages. The messages that Graham was sending interfered with the phone lines, which led the Daily Planet to send in their reporters to investigate. Clark was the one who was able to decipher the coded help message sent out by Graham. With the help of some device Clark and Lois are zeroing in on the location of Graham and Olsen. Meanwhile the Spider Lady's goons dropped a phone, which lead to them discovering that Graham was sending out help messages. Learning that the doctor was calling for help, the men decided to escape with the doctor and Jimmy. But they booby trapped the place first for whoever came to the rescue. While in the car, Jimmy escaped by jumping out of the moving vehicle. Lois is headed for danger as she enters the rigged laboratory. Inside the room, the doors shut closed and fire started to erupt. Can Superman save her again in the clutches of fiery death? Thank you for helping Geekwatch reach 100 subscribers. It would be our pleasure if you continue the journey with us, as we aim for our next milestone, 500 subscribers. 
So, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up like, ring the notification bell, write your thoughts in our comment section and please share the video for others to join our watch. When we reach 500 subs, two lucky geek watchers will get a chance to win these superhero Funko Bops.